<laughs> so just a few million years yeah, that's old it. there. That's it. All right. Well, the holiday season, we're feeling it. You got your Christmas socks? I do. I have them on. <laughs> you I'll have can't to maybe see show it, guys. them. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. they're yeah. little penguins, though. I'll say that. I love yeah, that. Yeah. So, yes, we first day of winter. Yep. A lot of people probably already on the roads and flying right now. Right. Yeah. Everybody's going to be paying attention to the weather, of course, as we near these, this holiday weekend. Everybody getting out for those holiday plans. I will say it's not the prettiest day out there for this first day of winter with how cloudy it is. There's the National Cathedral, a gray, gray background as a weak cold front is the main culprit bringing in some of this cloud cover and it is having an impact on our temperatures out there, making it feel a little chilly, no doubt for this new season. Here's where we started out at early this morning, not quite as cold as last night, but as we look back to the west here, it looks like we still did have Martinsburg, Manassas, Lorraine, a few locations dropped down below that 20 degree mark and then we had DC up near 32 so not quite as cold in some locations just as cold in others but with the added cloud cover that has rolled in here we have quite the temperature divide as you go back toward the I-81 corridor the Shenandoah Valley temperatures are still holding in the low to mid 30s very very chilly to the west meanwhile it has warmed up where we had a little more sunshine this morning DC's at 46 Seven, Waldorf 49 generally speaking it's in the mid to upper 40s once you hit the I-95 corridor and the DC Metro and you see that here too on the temperature change map a little bit colder to the west slightly warmer to the east and there is all of that cloud cover that has rolled its way in from the northwest throughout the morning it's staying cloudy back across western Maryland and West Virginia and the edge of that cloud deck has already made it to DC and it is, is still advancing over toward the Chesapeake Bay so yeah folks moving ahead here we should expect these clouds to stick around. They will be stubborn for the rest of the day today, but that's really the only thing we're going to be dealing with as dry weather, quiet conditions continue all the way into the holiday weekend, Friday, even Saturday. A stray shower may pop up, but really we're looking good to go heading into the Christmas holiday and then we'll see temperatures on the rebound. It's going to be mild out there 50s for your Christmas day and that will be ahead of a very soggy pattern that looks to set up starting the day after Christmas and rolling through much of next week beyond that. Now talking about these clouds again, the models have had a tough time with these clouds spreading out a little bit more so than anticipated, but you see the general trend here as we go into the late afternoon, early evening for today, folks, those clouds will continue to push south and east and there will be few peaks of sunshine to be found. You'll have to go south of I-66 in Northern Virginia, possibly over toward the Chesapeake Bay to see any bit of clear sky, but as we roll through the night into the day on Friday, well, it looks like we'll have a slight break with a few more peaks of sunshine happening out there for our Friday. Definitely looking a little bit better as we get into the end of the week and then temperature wise. Well, we're not expecting much of a change. Those highs will remain in the 40s through at least tomorrow. And then as we get into the holiday weekend, that's the rebound. We jump into the 50s. It could be 57 out there on Christmas Day, but despite having those mild temps and some clouds, we will not see any rainfall outside of a few stray showers until we get to the day after Christmas, as we do expect scattered showers in the mix next Tuesday and Wednesday.